Hello, everybody. We are back here on Bass Pro Shops The Hunt. We are about to head out to Georgia to take on the next uh, region. Let's see what we end up encountering here. Now, it seems like there is the king of bucks in every single location. So we're going to have like a special non-typical or I guess giant typical or something like that to take out in every single location we go to along with the other trophy animals. So this is going to be pretty cool. I'm actually really excited to see what some of these non-typicals end up looking like. Welcome to Georgia and the first day of the Bass Pro Shops Continental Classic. Here you must bag the highest scoring white-tailed deer. An animal's score is determined by its weight and the size of its rack. You can only claim one tournament animal per region, so be patient and wait for the big one. Make it count. Your GPS will give you the inside track on what your opponents are up to. Every time another hunter registers a score, your GPS will notify you. This will help you assess what you need to bring home the winning buck. Okay, so it looks like this is actually considered to be the very first uh, tournament event. So we got to go for the biggest buck and it shows where other hunters are. Um, so I guess we'll just uh, look around. After those white tails. Good luck. Let's see if we can find ourselves the trophy that we need. There's a track right here. So let's uh, grab that. Let's see if maybe this is from that trophy monster white tail. Okay, so it said white tailed deer and it's going in this direction. Let's uh, real quickly just see what we're up against. So somebody killed a 100 scoring white tailed deer. So that's what we got to beat. I also did forget to mention in the last episode that we are playing on the hardest difficulty. There's only two difficulty options, normal and then Bass Pro. Uh, we're playing on Bass Pro. So I don't know how difficult it's actually going to be, but it's at the most difficult it can possibly be. Hopefully it's uh, not too overly hard, but... I think we should be okay. I, I don't think we're going to have too big of an issue winning this uh, tournament. Ooh, ooh. That is a boar. Let's go ahead and uh, get a shot on this guy. I also did turn off the uh, weird scope filter, so we actually have a normal scope now. Let's uh, take this guy down if we can. There we go. We got him. So we at least got a boar down. Now we just got to look for the white-tailed deer and see if we can fill up any of our other tags. Uh, hold, hold on a second. It says that there's an allig- Wait, there's alligator tags. <laughs> um, so there's alligators here. I did not even catch that when I first looked at it. So we have the chance of being attacked by a gator, I think. Uh, let's hope that doesn't happen. That would not be good. So we also have a doe bleat call now. And it actually tells us if any deer are attracted to it. So there was nothing in the area that's attracted to it, which means there's no deer in uh, this part of the map. That's interesting. I kind of like that. Ooh, ooh, there we go. That is just a doe. Unfortunately, just a doe, but there is another one it looks like. That's an alligator. Oh, we got to take that thing down. We got to take that gator down. That's so cool. I have been uh, wanting to hunt alligators in a hunting game. And I honestly never knew that this game had them. Look at that thing. Let's see if we can get a shot into it now. There we go. We got it. So that is one gator down. Okay, there is a second gator. I think we can get it from this range. Yep, we got it once. Twice. Uh, didn't hit that last shot, sadly. We will uh, try to get one more shot into it. There we go, we got it. Took uh, way more shots than it should have. So our current score to beat is 133. I think that should be relatively easy. I couldn't see that being too difficult to uh, beat, but we do also still need to find the King of Bucks for this map. I definitely don't want to leave without that thing. Ooh, that's a turkey. Um, let's see if we can call it in. We do have a turkey call. Uh, none were attracted. Well, let's see if we can maybe get close enough to that turkey. 
And I think we just spooked it off. Yeah, we definitely did. We definitely just, uh, spooked it off. That's unfortunate. I was really hoping we could bag a turkey, but it looks like that's not gonna happen. Oh my gosh, that is a black bear right there. Oh, there was also a turkey close that I didn't realize. That's, that's quite unfortunate. So we just missed out on a turkey. And wait, what is that? Wait a second. <laughs> we got the turkey after all. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that actually worked out. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Well, I guess we just bagged ourselves a turkey. Okay, so that's a black bear right there. So we finally found the track of a white-tailed deer, and it says that it's in this direction. Now, as for how far, I've got no clue, but... It did say that there is a white-tailed deer going in this direction, so hopefully we're finally on the right track, and it's actually uh, heading basically back to where we started. Ooh, ooh, that was a deer. That was a deer right there. But where? <gasps> oh my gosh. Is this... Is that what I think it is? It is. That is... The big male... Uh... Trophy buck that we're after. That's the non-typical one. Where? I can't see anything. I have no idea where he is. Looks like there's another buck in the area as well. Ooh, there's something. White-tailed deer large. Is that the non-typical? No, it's not. That still is a good buck though. Let's do one more. Let's take him out. Let's get ourselves on the board. There we go. We got it. What a beautiful buck. Good work. You've claimed your white tail and earned enough rep to unlock Wyoming. To get there, head to the map in the Bass Pro Shop store. Would you like to go there now? Ah, oh, we're not going to go there yet because we still have to take out that non-typical. Because I definitely want to get that non-typical buck down. That thing is a beauty. Okay, so we just got a grunt from a buck. It's got to be the one that we're after. It's got to be him. Let's just try to get to a spot where we can actually see his outline. Got a feeling he's close, but I just can't tell where. Where is it? I cannot tell where this thing is, but it's definitely close. But where? Is that it? That's a raccoon. I am just absolutely baffled. Oh, there he is. There he is. There's that giant. Where is he? We gotta be extra careful this time. I don't want to spook him off. I have absolutely no idea where this guy is. I keep spooking him off, and then he becomes attracted to the call again, and then spooking him off, and then getting him attracted to the call again, but I just can never lay eyes on him. It's a very elusive buck. I think I see him. I think I see our buck finally. Yes, that's definitely him. He is in the worst spot too because I can't actually aim near that uh, outpost or whatever it is. That's so unfortunate that he has to be there. Uh, it's really unfortunate. Let's uh, see if we can maybe get a shot on him still. We got him. Let's go. We got him. Oh my gosh. That took so long. What a beauty though. That is such a nice deer. What a crazy white tail buck. And I think that... Does that even count? I don't even know. 
No, it does not. So we still need to take down uh, some normal whitetail. Yeah, there she is, whitetail deer doe. Ah, that's unfortunate. Hopefully there's some more bucks near because we do need to get one more whitetail. And it needs to be a pretty big one in order to take the lead. And that is a gator. I don't necessarily like the fact that that thing is getting close. I can't shoot it though because I already filled my tags. Oh my gosh. Um. I guess that was the legendary animal. <laughs> you just survived an encounter with a legendary animal. Well, I guess the only thing we have left to do now is uh, fill our last two tags and uh, try to bump ourselves up on the tournament standings. That was not what I expected. To be honest, I did not know that the legendary animal would attack us. Uh, that's kind of cool, though. I'm glad we actually found it. I was honestly just ready to call it there and not really worry about getting these last few objectives, but... Ooh, that's just a female. Okay, that's unfortunate. I don't know what else we can really find. I have yet to see any signs of more bucks on the map, so I'm kind of thinking about just calling it here. I mean, we did get fourth place in the tournament. That's not terrible. Uh, we'll do better in the next one, hopefully, but we got the non-typical, uh, what's it called? What, 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 what do they call them? The King of Bucks. We got uh, King of Bucks Volets number 683, and then we also got the legendary animals, so I think we'll just probably end it there. So let's go ahead and return to store. Oh, we unlocked the 22250. That's pretty cool. You know, let's equip this. And then what do we got? Ooh, cherry wood. That looks amazing. Let's use cherry wood. Uh, unfortunately, it's still only this scope that's unlocked. What do we have for shotguns? Anything new? We have the 12 gauge pump action unlocked. Okay. Wait, is that is that any different? No, it's, it's literally no different. So there's only one shotgun, I guess. Only one shotgun that is actually usable. And we did not unlock any new uh, finishes for it. Oh well. Any new sidearms? No. Looks like everything is the same there. And then as far as bows, we have not unlocked the crossbow either. So, yeah, nothing too crazy. We got the 22250, but that's about it. Uh, let's take a look at our King of Bucks. So that's the first one that we killed, number 77. And here is the new one, Joseph Volatus, number 683 non-tip. That is a pretty awesome looking buck. Definitely not too shabby. But guys, I think we are going to go ahead and call it there for episode two. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have been enjoying these uh, Bass Pro Shops Pro Hunt series. I think it's been pretty fun so far. It definitely isn't the most like amazing looking game graphically, but then again, it was made in 2009, so they can kind of be forgiven for that. But I hope you all enjoyed. That is going to be it. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click the like button, and ring that notification bell so you guys will never miss a video. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below on whether or not you guys are enjoying this series and also what memories you have with this game. And I will try to respond to as many of them as I can. But with that being said, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!